Marshal Dadajura. Chapter 356, Prepare to start the battle, he wants us to be in touch with the hundred beauties, and use our own strength to conquer the beauties in order to have one in our embrace? In terms of handsomeness, who here can surpass us four brothers? Tang Yixiao was filled with confidence. My three brothers, choose any of the nine beauties for yourself. I'll be fine with just Lady Ziling. Song Qingfeng said. Song Qingfeng, do you have no shame? Why not ask, within us four brothers, who is still thinking about those nine beauties? Who isn't thinking about Lady Ziling in their heart? Besides, when compared to Lady Ziling, are those nine girls even beauties? Bai Yunfei sneered and said. What? From what I hear, Brother Yunfei, you want to have a fight with me, Song Qingfeng? Song Qingfeng's face darkened as he changed his expression. Ah, what is there to argue about? It will suffice if everyone fairly fights. Lu Xiaoyao spoke. Humph. Let's fight then. Who's afraid of who? The other three all coldly snorted. The conversion of the four people were spoken with mental messages, so other people were not aware what they were discussing about, and after announcing the marriage method of the marriage gathering, the head of the villa, Qin Lei, announced once again. As for the location of this special event, it's the Thousand Monster Mountain. Hua. After those words were spoken, a commotion instantly rose. Many people who did not know the truth were greatly stunned. What place was the Thousand Monster Mountain? It was a forbidden land. Didn't the prestigious villa always clearly prohibit it and not allow anyone to step into the Thousand Monster Mountain? Compared to the confusion of the bystanders, a smile of yearning rose from the corners of the mouths from the people who already received the information because the real good show was finally going to start. Everyone, no need to be surprised. Since this is a special event, there must be a special place. I, Qin Lei, am looking for husbands for my prestigious villa's hundred ladies, so naturally, the requirements need to be a bit stricter. Although martial cultivation talent is something that absolutely necessary, a person's courage is even more necessary. As for this thing called courage, it can only be shown when one meets true danger. And the Thousand Monster Mountain is the best place to test one's courage. Of course, there are certainly dangers by entering the Thousand Monster Mountain, and one can even lose their life in there. So, I, Qin Lei, will not make things difficult for everyone. If anyone feels that they cannot protect themselves in the Thousand Monster Mountain, they can choose to leave right now. I, Qin Lei, will absolutely not stop them. At that instant, the disturbance got even more serious. Everyone was discussing and whispering. But after a full hour passed, no one chose to leave. The reason was very simple. When a time like this arrived, who would be willing to easily give up? Besides, if anyone left at this time, it was telling everyone that they felt that they couldn't do it. Not only would they lose their own face, they would even blacken their own power, and in the future, after returning to the power, it would be difficult for them to raise their heads again. So, naturally, no one chose to give up and as he faced that situation, Qin Lei smiled as he got his way. Because everything was within his grasp, and the scene in front of him was exactly within his expectations. It seems like I, Qin Lei, have not been mistaken. The young people here are indeed the most outstanding in the continent of the nine provinces. Not only in terms of martial cultivation talent, but also in terms of courage. Since it is like this, I will announce the specifics of this event as well as the circumstances of the Thousand Monster Mountain. The Thousand Monster Mountain is a land governed by monstrous beasts. Within it, there are countless monstrous beasts. All their cultivations are dominatingly strong and there is no space for underestimation. The Thousand Monster Mountain is split into five areas. The five areas are respectively controlled by the five monster kings. Not only are the strengths of the five monster kings extremely strong, they have no conflicts between them. Rather, their relationship are extremely good. This also means that the five monster kings are one group, causing all the monstrous beasts in the Thousand Monster Mountain to be united as one. 
In addition to their intense dislike of humans, I classify the Thousand Monster Mountain as one of the most risky places in the continent of the Nine Provinces. This is also why my prestigious villa views it as a forbidden land to prohibit anyone from stepping into the Thousand Monster Mountain. Chin Lei explained in detail. Since the Thousand Monster Mountain is so risky and the monstrous beasts are so dangerous, if we enter and are discovered by them, aren't we causing them to be enraged? Are you not afraid of their retaliation? You are simply playing fire and burning yourself. Just at that time, Jiang Wusheng, who was sitting on the viewing stage, suddenly spoke. Actually, many people had the same question, but only he would dare to ask like that. Ho! Oh. Your words are correct. If the monstrous beasts discover that we entered the Thousand Monster Mountain, with their methods, they will certainly retaliate over humans. However, the reason why I still want to do this is because in the past few years, the monstrous beasts in the Thousand Monster Mountain are being restless. Again and again, humans outside of the Thousand Monster Mountain suffer misfortunes. Some villages even got slaughtered, and after investigations, what was discovered was that the ones who committed such sins were exactly the monstrous beasts in the Thousand Monster Mountain. The Thousand Monster Mountain has already declared war against us humans. Today, what we are doing is only a counterattack. So, I'm not afraid of their retaliation because what I want is to thoroughly start the war, to let the monstrous beasts in the Thousand Monster Mountain to know the power of us humans, so that in the future, they can know their place a bit more. Qin Lei explained. But you don't have confidence, so you drag us down the water, and you want to borrow our strengths to deal with the Thousand Monster Mountain together? Jiang Wusheng started to sharply interrogate. Haha. <laughs> but at that instant, Qin Lei started to laugh loudly, then quickly after he said, I knew that someone would think like that. Indeed, through this marriage gathering, my prestigious villa does want to establish a bridge of connection with the powers here, but I never once thought of borrowing everyone's power to attack the Thousand Monster Mountain. That's because my prestigious villa already has the ability to attack the Thousand Monster Mountain on its own. After speaking, Qin Lei waved his big sleeve and quickly following that, twenty bodies descended from the sky and landed behind Qin Lei. They were twenty old people, and the four who carried Zi Ling's sedan chair were also there. They were all manager elders of the prestigious villa, but the most important part was their auras. They were all experts in the heaven realm. There are twenty heaven realm elders? The prestigious villa is actually this powerful? At that instant, many people on scene were endlessly shocked. Even Chu Feng felt extreme unexpectedness because not only were all the twenty manager elders heaven realm experts, some of them even stepped into the second level of the heaven realm, even the third level the heaven realm was different from other realms. Every level was a difficult gap to go over causing some middle-aged people with unordinary talent to step in the heaven realm, yet in their remaining lives, they could not walk another step forward. In their old ages, they still remained in the first level of the heaven realm. But within the prestigious villa's manager elders, there were actually people who stepped into the second level of the heaven realm, even the third. Then what realm did the head of the villa step into? What degree of power did the prestigious villa reach? 630485BFB98C962D6C69 Chapter 356 Prepare to Start the Battle He wants us to be in touch with the hundred beauties and use our own strength to conquer the beauties in order to have one in our embrace? In terms of handsomeness, who here can surpass us four brothers? Tang Xiao was filled with confidence. My three brothers, choose any of the nine beauties for yourself. I'll be fine with just Lady Ling. Song Qingfeng said. Song Qingfeng, do you have no shame? Why not ask, within us four brothers, who is still thinking about those nine beauties? Who isn't thinking about Lady Ling in their heart? Besides, when compared to Lady Ling, are those nine girls even beauties? Bai Yunfei sneered and said. What? From what I hear, brother Yunfei, you want to have a fight with me, Song Qingfeng? Song Qingfeng's face darkened as he changed his expression. Ah, what is there to argue about? It will suffice if everyone fairly fights. Lu Xiaoyao spoke. 
Humph. Let's fight then. Who's afraid of who? The other three all coldly snorted. The conversion of the four people were spoken with mental messages, so other people were not aware what they were discussing about, and after announcing the marriage method of the marriage gathering, the head of the villa, Chin Lei, announced once again, As for the location of this special event, it's the Thousand Monster Mountain. Hua. After those words were spoken, a commotion instantly rose. Many people who did not know the truth were greatly stunned. What place was the Thousand Monster Mountain? It was a forbidden land. Didn't the prestigious villa always clearly prohibit it and not allow anyone to step into the Thousand Monster Mountain? Compared to the confusion of the bystanders, a smile of yearning rose from the corners of the mouths from the people who already received the information because the real good show was finally going to start. Everyone, no need to be surprised. Since this is a special event, there must be a special place. I, Chin Lei, am looking for husbands for my prestigious villa's hundred ladies, so naturally, the requirements need to be a bit stricter. Although martial cultivation talent is something that absolutely necessary, a person's courage is even more necessary. As for this thing called courage, it can only be shown when one meets true danger. And the Thousand Monster Mountain is the best place to test one's courage. Of course, there are certainly dangers by entering the Thousand Monster Mountain, and one can even lose their life in there. So, I, Qin Lei, will not make things difficult for everyone. If anyone feels that they cannot protect themselves in the Thousand Monster Mountain, they can choose to leave right now. I, Qin Lei, will absolutely not stop them. At that instant, the disturbance got even more serious. Everyone was discussing and whispering. But after a full hour passed, no one chose to leave. The reason was very simple. When a time like this arrived, who would be willing to easily give up? Besides, if anyone left at this time, it was telling everyone that they felt that they couldn't do it. Not only would they lose their own face, they would even blacken their own power, and in the future, after returning to the power, it would be difficult for them to raise their heads again. So, naturally, no one chose to give up and as he faced that situation, Qin Lei smiled as he got his way. Because everything was within his grasp, and the scene in front of him was exactly within his expectations. It seems like I, Qin Lei, have not been mistaken. The young people here are indeed the most outstanding in the continent of the nine provinces. Not only in terms of martial cultivation talent, but also in terms of courage. Since it is like this, I will announce the specifics of this event as well as the circumstances of the Thousand Monster Mountain. The Thousand Monster Mountain is a land governed by monstrous beasts. Within it, there are countless monstrous beasts. All their cultivations are dominatingly strong and there is no space for underestimation. The Thousand Monster Mountain is split into five areas. The five areas are respectively controlled by the five monster kings. Not only are the strengths of the five monster kings extremely strong, they have no conflicts between them. Rather, their relationship are extremely good. This also means that the five monster kings are one group, causing all the monstrous beasts in the Thousand Monster Mountain to be united as one. In addition to their intense dislike of humans, I classify the Thousand Monster Mountain as one of the most risky places in the continent of the Nine Provinces. This is also why my prestigious villa views it as a forbidden land to prohibit anyone from stepping into the Thousand Monster Mountain. Qin Lei explained in detail. Since the Thousand Monster Mountain is so risky and the monstrous beasts are so dangerous, if we enter and are discovered by them, aren't we causing them to be enraged? Are you not afraid of their retaliation? You are simply playing fire and burning yourself. Just at that time, Jiang Wusheng, who was sitting on the viewing stage, suddenly spoke. Actually, many people had the same question, but only he would dare to ask like that. Ho! Oh, your words are correct. If the monstrous beasts discover that we entered the Thousand Monster Mountain, with their methods, they will certainly retaliate over humans. However, the reason why I still want to do this is because in the past few years, the monstrous beasts in the Thousand Monster Mountain are being restless. 
Again and again, humans outside of the Thousand Monster Mountain suffer misfortunes. Some villages even got slaughtered, and after investigations, what was discovered was that the ones who committed such sins were exactly the monstrous beasts in the Thousand Monster Mountain. The Thousand Monster Mountain has already declared war against us humans. Today, what we are doing is only a counterattack. So, I'm not afraid of their retaliation because what I want is to thoroughly start the war, to let the monstrous beasts in the Thousand Monster Mountain to know the power of us humans, so that in the future, they can know their place a bit more. Chin Lei explained. But you don't have confidence, so you drag us down the water, and you want to borrow our strengths to deal with the Thousand Monster Mountain together? Jiang Wusheng started to sharply interrogate. Haha. <laughs> But at that instant, Qin Lei started to laugh loudly, then quickly after he said, I knew that someone would think like that. Indeed, through this marriage gathering, my prestigious villa does want to establish a bridge of connection with the powers here, but I never once thought of borrowing everyone's power to attack the Thousand Monster Mountain. That's because my prestigious villa already has the ability to attack the Thousand Monster Mountain on its own. After speaking, Qin Lei waved his big sleeve and quickly following that, twenty bodies descended from the sky and landed behind Qin Lei. They were twenty old people, and the four who carried Zi Ling's sedan chair were also there. They were all manager elders of the prestigious villa, but the most important part was their auras. They were all experts in the heaven realm. There are twenty heaven realm elders? The prestigious villa is actually this powerful? At that instant, many people on scene were endlessly shocked. Even Chu Feng felt extreme unexpectedness, because not only were all the twenty manager elders heaven realm experts, some of them even stepped into the second level of the heaven realm, even the third level. The heaven realm was different from other realms. Every level was a difficult gap to go over, causing some middle-aged people with unordinary talent to step in the heaven realm, yet in their remaining lives they could not walk another step forward. In their old ages, they still remained in the first level of the heaven realm. But within the prestigious villa's manager elders, there were actually people who stepped into the second level of the heaven realm, even the third. Then what realm did the head of the villa step into? What degree of power did the prestigious villa reach? Marshal Gadazura Chapter 357 Beautiful Woman Paying a Visit The Strength of the Prestigious Villa is actually this strong. They have 20 manager elders in the Heaven Realm, so in addition to the head of the villa, don't they have 21 Heaven Realm experts? At that instant, the experts from various powers all tightly furrowed their brows and indescribable uneasiness started to rise from their hearts. Even if it was a peak power from other provinces, it was the same because in certain aspects, the strength that the prestigious villa displayed already surpassed them. Currently, the only ones that could remain calm were only the two special powers, the World Spirit Guild and the Jia Clan. It's not that I'm looking down on the Thousand Monster Mountain, but my prestigious villa does absolutely have the ability to sweep it away. Right now, the army of my prestigious villa has already gathered and they are prepared. Tomorrow, they will start the attacks on the Thousand Monster Mountain and let them know the power of us humans, let them know that it is best for them to hide like a turtle in their Thousand Monster Mountain, their tiny bit of land. And the event of the marriage gathering will also start there. Everyone, don't worry. Although it is an event that tests courage, I won't let any of you take any unnecessary risks. We've already scouted out the landscape of the Thousand Monster Mountain. Within the Thousand Monster Mountain, there are two zones. In those two zones, the least number of monstrous beasts are located there and their strengths are comparatively weaker as well. The event will be carried out in those two zones. Of course, after entering, all of you will need to rely on yourselves. But as advice from me, it is best to kill all the monstrous beasts you see, or else they will certainly kill you. Even if they cannot kill you, they will lead stronger monstrous beasts that will in turn kill all of you. The event will last for ten days. Ten days later, you can leave the Thousand Monster Mountain and my prestigious villa will send people to bring you back to the prestigious villa. And at that time, I believe that the hundred ladies from my prestigious villa will already have a satisfied impression in their hearts. 
As for which of you can win over the heart of the hundred ladies, that'll depend on your performances in these ten days. Qin Lei spoke again. He had plenty of confidence and was filled with self-assurance. After seeing the strength of the prestigious villa, there was indeed no one who questioned anything, and they all approved of the special event. Soon after, on the summit of the mountain peak, a dance party for breaking the ice between one another was started. On the stage, the alluring figures of many beauties were displayed as well as their graceful dancing. It caused everyone to be extremely excited and they incessantly cheered. There were even some shameless people who lost their control from the beauties on the stage. They hid in a quiet corner, and as they looked at the beauties on the stage, their right hand danced around and they secretly did some low-class things. However, Lady Zi Ling did not participate in this session of the performance. After Qin Lei finished announcing the details of the event, she left first with the escort of elders. As for Chu Feng, he did not have much interest towards the remaining beauties. He focused on Gu Bo, Su Zhongyu, and the others from the World Spirit Guild and drank merrily. Currently, he already made quite a number of big enemies both intentionally and unintentionally. After entering the Thousand Monster Mountain, there would certainly be someone who would attack him. So, the only people he could rely on were those from the World Spirit Guild. After drinking happily for a while, the night was already dark, and because tomorrow was the day to head towards the Thousand Monster Mountain, Su Zhongyu suggested that the young generation of the World Spirit Guild should go back rely to rest, and Chu Feng and the others, naturally, responded to the call. After returning to his room, Chu Feng first steeped some green tea. Because he was happy today, he really did drink quite a bit. So, he needed that in order to dispel the power of wine a bit. After steeping the tea and with a teacup in hand, Chu Feng walked towards a window. As he drank tea, he raised his head to look at the night sky, but in reality, he was thinking and organizing the map in his memories. The map was shown to him by the mysterious monstrous beast when he was first in the Azure Ghost Tower, and the landscape that the map recorded was the landscape of the Thousand Monster Mountain. In the Thousand Monster Mountain's middle zone, there was a vast underground palace, and within the palace, the thing that Chu Feng needed was there. However, outside of the underground palace, there were also five special areas, and they were guarded like a castle. Without even thinking, Chu Feng knew what those five special areas were. They were undoubtedly the areas that the five monster kings were in charge of. So, it also meant that the five monster kings knew what treasure Chu Feng wanted was. Perhaps they even had some special relationship with the mysterious monstrous beast in the Azura Ghost Tower. At the beginning, the mysterious monstrous beast did not tell Chu Feng about the dangers of the Thousand Monster Mountain. Although the mysterious monstrous beast told Chu Feng where the treasure was, it was equivalent in giving him a test. Whoosh. But just at that time, a flash appeared in front of Chu Feng's eyes, and a row of purple colored light, like lightning, rushed into his room from a window. Crap. At that instant, Chu Feng subconsciously felt that something was off, and with a leap, he wanted to escape through the window. However, after Chu Feng leaped and was pouncing towards the window, with a bang, it was as if he collided into a copper and iron wall, and he was reflected back and he fell onto the floor. Blue colored spirit formation? Chu Feng was thrown and flipped onto the ground. He raised his head to look, and he discovered, with the power of blue colored spirit formation, a formless spirit formation was covering the window and it already sealed the entire room. Turning his head and looking, indeed, it was the same as Chu Feng's predictions. A beautiful figure was currently standing inside his own room. It was young female who wore a pretty skirt and had a face that was beautiful beyond compare. It was the young female who stunned the entire mountain peak today, Zi Ling. She already became a blue cloak world spiritist? Chu Feng's heart was shocked. He never would have thought that Zi Ling, who was only in the ninth level of the profound realm, already became a blue cloak world spiritist. However, clearly, one had to be in the heaven realm in order to gain the blue colored spirit formation power, yet with the cultivation of the ninth level of the profound realm, she gained the power of a blue cloak world spiritist. That defied common sense a bit. 
but after thinking a bit more carefully, it was acceptable. Only those in the heaven realm could gain the power of blue-colored spirit formations. That was common sense. However, there were many people could break common sense, for example, Chu Feng himself. He broken it many times, and since even he could, why not people with divine bodies? Ho! So it's Lady Zeling. The so-called males and females must keep a distance. Could it be that you wish to go against such principles by intruding into my room in the middle of the night? Although Chu Feng was shocked by Zi Ling's strength, he did not overly panic. He stood up, naturally patted the dust on his body away, and revealed a peaceful light smile towards Zi Ling. Whoosh! But suddenly, Zi Ling's body flashed, and like a ghost, she appeared in front of Chu Feng. At the same time, her clean white, shiny, and smooth hands already tightly clenched on Chu Feng's neck. Mm. At that instant, Chu Feng was able to feel layers of strong power engulfing his body and sealing his entire body's movement. At that instant, he was powerless throughout his body. Not to mention fighting back, he couldn't even say any words. He could only watch as Zi Ling's face of absolute beauty approached him bit by bit. Finally, Zi Ling's mouth came right next to Chu Feng's ear, and she said with an extremely icy cold tone, Do not tell anybody about my matter, or else even if you escape to the ends of the world, I will still split your corpse into ten thousand pieces. 6304858 Beft B9 8 C9 6 2 2 D 6 C 6 9 Chapter 357 Beautiful Woman Paying a Visit The strength of the prestigious villa is actually this strong. They have twenty manager elders in the heaven realm, so in addition to the head of the villa, don't they have twenty-one heaven realm experts? At that instant, the experts from various powers all tightly furrowed their brows and indescribable uneasiness started to rise from their hearts. Even if it was a peak power from other provinces, it was the same. Because in certain aspects, the strength that the prestigious villa displayed already surpassed them. Currently, the only ones that could remain calm were only the two special powers, the World Spirit Guild and the Jia Clan. It's not that I'm looking down on the Thousand Monster Mountain, but my prestigious villa does absolutely have the ability to sweep it away. Right now, the army of my prestigious villa has already gathered and they are prepared. Tomorrow, they will start the attacks on the Thousand Monster Mountain and let them know the power of us humans. Let them know that it is best for them to hide like a turtle in their thousand monster mountain, their tiny bit of land. And the event of the marriage gathering will also start there. Everyone, don't worry. Although it is an event that tests courage, I won't let any of you take any unnecessary risks. We've already scouted out the landscape of the thousand monster mountain. Within the thousand monster mountain, there are two zones. In those two zones, the least number of monstrous beasts are located there and their strengths are comparatively weaker as well. The event will be carried out in those two zones. Of course, after entering, all of you will need to rely on yourselves. But as advice from me, it is best to kill all the monstrous beasts you see, or else they will certainly kill you. Even if they cannot kill you, they will lead stronger monstrous beasts that will in turn kill all of you. The event will last for ten days. Ten days later, you can leave the Thousand Monster Mountain and my prestigious villa will send people to bring you back to the prestigious villa. And at that time, I believe that the hundred ladies from my prestigious villa will already have a satisfied impression in their hearts. As for which of you can win over the heart of the hundred ladies, that'll depend on your performances in these ten days. Qin Lei spoke again. He had plenty of confidence and was filled with self-assurance. After seeing the strength of the prestigious villa, there was indeed no one who questioned anything, and they all approved of the special event. Soon after, on the summit of the mountain peak, a dance party for breaking the ice between one another was started. On the stage, the alluring figures of many beauties were displayed as well as their graceful dancing. It caused everyone to be extremely excited and they incessantly cheered. There were even some shameless people who lost their control from the beauties on the stage. They hid in a quiet corner, and as they looked at the beauties on the stage, their right hand danced around and they secretly did some low-class things. 
However, Lady Z Ling did not participate in this session of the performance. After Qin Lei finished announcing the details of the event, she left first with the escort of elders. As for Chu Feng, he did not have much interest towards the remaining beauties. He focused on Gu Bo, Su Zhongyu, and the others from the World Spirit Guild and drank merrily. Currently, he already made quite a number of big enemies both intentionally and unintentionally. After entering the Thousand Monster Mountain, there would certainly be someone who would attack him. So, the only people he could rely on were those from the World Spirit Guild. After drinking happily for a while, the night was already dark, and because tomorrow was the day to head towards the Thousand Monster Mountain, Su Zhongyu suggested that the young generation of the World Spirit Guild should go back rely to rest, and Chu Feng and the others, naturally, responded to the call. After returning to his room, Chu Feng first steeped some green tea. Because he was happy today, he really did drink quite a bit. So, he needed that in order to dispel the power of wine a bit. After steeping the tea and with a teacup in hand, Chu Feng walked towards a window. As he drank tea, he raised his head to look at the night sky, but in reality, he was thinking and organizing the map in his memories. The map was shown to him by the mysterious monstrous beast when he was first in the Azure Ghost Tower, and the landscape that the map recorded was the landscape of the Thousand Monster Mountain. In the Thousand Monster Mountain's middle zone, there was a vast underground palace, and within the palace, the thing that Chu Feng needed was there. However, outside of the underground palace, there were also five special areas, and they were guarded like a castle. Without even thinking, Chu Feng knew what those five special areas were. They were undoubtedly the areas that the five monster kings were in charge of. So, it also meant that the five monster kings knew what treasure Chu Feng wanted was. Perhaps they even had some special relationship with the mysterious monstrous beast in the Azura Ghost Tower. At the beginning, the mysterious monstrous beast did not tell Chu Feng about the dangers of the Thousand Monster Mountain. Although the mysterious monstrous beast told Chu Feng where the treasure was, it was equivalent in giving him a test. Whoosh. But just at that time, a flash appeared in front of Chu Feng's eyes, and a row of purple colored light, like lightning, rushed into his room from a window. Crap. At that instant, Chu Feng subconsciously felt that something was off, and with a leap, he wanted to escape through the window. However, after Chu Feng leaped and was pouncing towards the window, with a bang, it was as if he collided into a copper and iron wall and he was reflected back and he fell onto the floor. Blue Colored Spirit Formation? Chu Feng was thrown and flipped onto the ground. He raised his head to look, and he discovered, with the power of Blue Colored Spirit Formation, a formless spirit formation was covering the window and it already sealed the entire room. Turning his head and looking, indeed, it was the same as Chu Feng's predictions. A beautiful figure was currently standing inside his own room. It was young female who wore a pretty skirt and had a face that was beautiful beyond compare. It was the young female who stunned the entire mountain peak today, Zi Ling. She already became a blue cloak world spiritist? Chu Feng's heart was shocked. He never would have thought that Zi Ling, who was only in the ninth level of the profound realm, already became a blue cloak world spiritist. However, clearly, one had to be in the heaven realm in order to gain the blue-colored spirit formation power, yet with the cultivation of the ninth level of the profound realm, she gained the power of a blue-cloak world spiritist. That defied common sense a bit. But after thinking a bit more carefully, it was acceptable. Only those in the heaven realm could gain the power of blue-colored spirit formations. That was common sense. However, there were many people could break common sense, for example, Chu Feng himself. He broken it many times, and since even he could, why not people with divine bodies? Ho! Oh. So it's Lady Zi Ling. The so-called males and females must keep a distance. Could it be that you wish to go against such principles by intruding into my room in the middle of the night? Although Chu Feng was shocked by Zi Ling's strength, he did not overly panic. He stood up, naturally patted the dust on his body away, and revealed a peaceful light smile towards Zi Ling. Whoosh! 
but suddenly, Zi Ling's body flashed, and like a ghost, she appeared in front of Chu Feng. At the same time, her clean white, shiny, and smooth hands already tightly clenched on Chu Feng's neck. Mm. At that instant, Chu Feng was able to feel layers of strong power engulfing his body and sealing his entire body's movement. At that instant, he was powerless throughout his body. Not to mention fighting back, he couldn't even say any words. He could only watch as Zi Ling's face of absolute beauty approached him bit by bit. Finally, Zi Ling's mouth came right next to Chu Feng's ear, and she said with an extremely icy cold tone, Do not tell anybody about my matter, or else even if you escape to the ends of the world, I will still split your corpse into ten thousand pieces. Martial God Azura Chapter 358 Igniting the Flames of War, Damned Girl, She Dares to Threaten You in Such a Way? Chu Feng, let me control your body, and let me give this damn girl a good lesson. At that instant, Eggy was furious. Chu Feng was clearly able to feel Eggy's fury. Although this wasn't the first time Chu Feng was threatened by someone, this time however, Eggy was particularly angry. No need, I can take care of it myself. But Chu Feng coldly snorted, and quickly after, the two types of lightning still flowing in his blood were like volcanoes that were going to erupt as they started to boil. Boom, suddenly, as if an explosion happened within Chu Feng's body, a berserk aura bursted out from his body. In that situation, Zi Ling's hand that was squeezing Chu Feng's neck immediately trembled, then she hurriedly let go and went a few steps backwards. Your eyes? Seeing Chu Feng's pupils that had yellow and blue interweaved and feeling Chu Feng's aura that instantly climbed into the fifth level of the profound realm, Zi Ling's likable little face couldn't avoid changing and within her eyes, a touch of fear had actually appeared. You are indeed very special. You don't have a divine body, yet you possess power that is not inferior to divine bodies. But right now, you are unable to defeat me because this is my territory. If I want to kill you, you will have no way of escaping. But you don't need to be afraid. I won't kill you. I just hope that you can keep a secret and don't let anyone learn about my special body. At the same time, I will also guarantee that I won't reveal your secret to anyone. I won't let anyone know that you are an oddity who grasps strange abilities. Zi Ling spoke with an extremely gentle tone, as if she was bargaining over price. Simultaneously, her bright big eyes also cautiously stared at Chu Feng, as though afraid of any movements from him, because truly, she could not see through him. Although Chu Feng's current two pupils were very strange, when compared to the black-colored power that seeped out of Chu Feng's body that day, there was still a huge difference. She knew that Chu Feng did not use his true power, and the power of the darkness was exactly what she was fearful of. Chu Feng did not pay attention to Zi Ling. He first rubbed his neck, and only then did he shoot Zi Ling a glance and said, You are intentionally testing me just now, right? If I didn't have any power to resist, would you have just directly attacked and killed me? After hearing those words, Zi Ling's pupils shrunk and she did not reply to Chu Feng. She walked straight towards the window before turning her head back to say, Remember my words. If you dare to reveal my secret, believe me. You will absolutely die extremely miserably. After speaking and with a thought, the spirit formation that enveloped the entire room instantly disappeared, and with a leap of her beautiful body, like a ghost, she disappeared within the night sky. This girl is too dangerous. Just now, I really did feel her killing intent. After Zi Ling left, Chu Feng breathed a long sigh of relief as if a burden was lifted. Because he knew that if Zi Ling truly attacked him, the current him would certainly not be able to defeat her. Even if he borrowed Eggy's power, he would still be unable to defeat her. That girl was indeed very terrifying. But luckily, Zi Ling seemed to be scared by Chu Feng, so at least up until now, she would still not kill Chu Feng. But the thing that caused the biggest headache to Chu Feng wasn't that. The thing that caused him the headache was that he wanted to do it with Zi Ling but as he faced a woman who wanted to kill himself, how could that be accomplished? It was really too hard. But currently, Chu Feng did not have any methods. He could only leave it up to fate and go along with nature. After all, 
His real goal in this journey was the mysterious treasure inside the Thousand Monster Mountain. On the next day, Chu Feng got out of bed very early, followed the peak experts of the prestigious villa and stepped onto the expedition towards the Thousand Monster Mountain. On this journey, not only were there the head of the prestigious villa, Chu Feng, and the thousand or so others who participated in the marriage gathering, there were also the representative characters from the powers everywhere. In order to express sincerity towards the marriage, they took the initiative to give their assistance to the prestigious villa to attack the monstrous beasts in the Thousand Monster Mountain together. Although on the surface, the representative characters of the powers were very righteous, respectable and they had very good intentions, Chu Feng and the others from the prestigious villa knew very clearly regarding the reason why they were willing to follow their actions. In reality, it was for the treasures in the Thousand Monster Mountain. After several days of hurrying, they finally arrived at the forbidden land of the Qin province, the Thousand Monster Mountain. However, at that instant, the vast mountain range was no longer peaceful. In many places, the flames of battle were already lit. The battle powers that the prestigious villa gathered beforehand already started their attacks on the Thousand Monster Mountain. And after seeing the flames on the Thousand Monster Mountain, the head of the prestigious villa and the manager elders of the prestigious villa, as well as the experts from powers everywhere immediately joined the battlefield and rushed into the boundless mountain range. Only two manager elders remained, who were in charge of Chu Feng and the others' event. Boom boom boom. Finally, when the white-headed eagles that Chu Feng and the others rode on landed outside of the Thousand Monster Mountain, it was a lot more peaceful when compared to back there. There were no fires burning, but one could still hear bursts of explosions from afar, and occasionally, even the furious roar of monstrous beasts. It caused the land they were standing on to tremble and from that, it could be seen how intense the battle in the distance was. Everyone, my prestigious villa has already sent 100,000 elites to attack the monstrous beasts in the Thousand Monster Mountain. I believe that after our villa head joins that battlefield, we will have even bigger breakthroughs. The monstrous beasts in the Thousand Monster Mountain will certainly pay the price for their evil actions. However, although the monstrous beasts right now are already as muddled as a pot of kanji, there are several hundreds of thousands of monstrous beasts in this thousand monster mountain. So, even if all of you are going to enter a rather safer zone, do not be careless. Because, what you will be facing are cruel and heartless monstrous beasts. It is still possible that you will face life-threatening dangers. Like the words of the villa head, we advise you to kill the monstrous beasts after meeting them in the Thousand Monster Mountain. Do not leave any alive, or else the ones who will suffer will be you. The prestigious villa elders first told them some things they should pay attention to, then quickly after, they gave everyone a map. That map was completely different than the one in Chu Feng's brain. It was a lot simpler when compared to it and the location of the underground palace was not even recorded. However, on the map, two areas were circled out. They were the areas that Chu Feng and the others needed to survive ten days for, and the first step they needed to do was to first arrive in that area, and ten days had to pass before they return. And that was the event that they needed to undergo. Because there were two safe areas, Chu Feng and the others also needed to be split into two groups. Unluckily, Chu Feng was in the same group as Jie Qingming, Tang Yixiu, and the others. They did not like Chu Feng. But luckily, Su Zhongyu and the others from the World Spirit Guild were also together with Chu Feng. As long as Su Zhongyu was there, Chu Feng felt better security. Although Chu Feng was going to split away from them sooner or later, at least before leaving the group, Chu Feng still needed Su Zhongyu to suppress Jie Qingming. Of course, other than Su Zhongyu and Jie Qingming, there was also a person who was unknown whether he was an enemy or friend. It was Jiang Wusheng. The genius from the Jiang dynasty was very strange. Although he did help Chu Feng that day on the summit of the mountain peak, on the road, when Chu Feng started a conversation with him, he was rather icy cold. From that, Chu Feng was unable to see through him. That boy. 6304858B9AC9622D6C69. 
Chapter 358 Igniting the Flames of War Damned girl, she dares to threaten you in such a way? Chu Fong, let me control your body, and let me give this damn girl a good lesson. At that instant, Eggy was furious. Chu Fong was clearly able to feel Eggy's fury. Although this wasn't the first time Chu Fong was threatened by someone, this time however, Eggy was particularly angry. No need, I can take care of it myself. But Chu Fong coldly snorted, and quickly after, the two types of lightning still flowing in his blood were like volcanoes that were going to erupt as they started to boil. Boom, suddenly, as if an explosion happened within Chu Feng's body, a berserk aura bursted out from his body. In that situation, Zi Ling's hand that was squeezing Chu Feng's neck immediately trembled, then she hurriedly let go and went a few steps backwards. Your eyes? Seeing Chu Feng's pupils that had yellow and blue interweaved and feeling Chu Feng's aura that instantly climbed into the fifth level of the profound realm, Zi Ling's likable little face couldn't avoid changing and within her eyes, a touch of fear had actually appeared. You are indeed very special. You don't have a divine body, yet you possess power that is not inferior to divine bodies. But right now, you are unable to defeat me because this is my territory. If I want to kill you, you will have no way of escaping. But you don't need to be afraid. I won't kill you. I just hope that you can keep a secret and don't let anyone learn about my special body. At the same time, I will also guarantee that I won't reveal your secret to anyone. I won't let anyone know that you are an oddity who grasps strange abilities. Zi Ling spoke with an extremely gentle tone, as if she was bargaining over price. Simultaneously, her bright big eyes also cautiously stared at Chu Feng, as though afraid of any movements from him, because truly, she could not see through him. Although Chu Feng's current two pupils were very strange, when compared to the black-colored power that seeped out of Chu Feng's body that day, there was still a huge difference. She knew that Chu Feng did not use his true power, and the power of the darkness was exactly what she was fearful of. Chu Feng did not pay attention to Zi Ling. He first rubbed his neck, and only then did he shoot Zi Ling a glance and said, You are intentionally testing me just now, right? If I didn't have any power to resist, would you have just directly attacked and killed me? After hearing those words, Zi Ling's pupils shrunk and she did not reply to Chu Feng. She walked straight towards the window before turning her head back to say, Remember my words. If you dare to reveal my secret, believe me. You will absolutely die extremely miserably. After speaking and with a thought, the spirit formation that enveloped the entire room instantly disappeared, and with a leap of her beautiful body, like a ghost, she disappeared within the night sky. This girl is too dangerous. Just now, I really did feel her killing intent. After Zi Ling left, Chu Feng breathed a long sigh of relief as if a burden was lifted because he knew that if Zi Ling truly attacked him, the current him would certainly not be able to defeat her. Even if he borrowed Eggy's power, he would still be unable to defeat her. That girl was indeed very terrifying. But luckily, Zi Ling seemed to be scared by Chu Feng, so at least up until now, she would still not kill Chu Feng. But the thing that caused the biggest headache to Chu Feng wasn't that. The thing that caused him the headache was that he wanted to do it with Zi Ling. But as he faced a woman who wanted to kill himself, how could that be accomplished? It was really too hard. But currently, Chu Feng did not have any methods. He could only leave it up to fate and go along with nature. After all, his real goal in this journey was the mysterious treasure inside the Thousand Monster Mountain. On the next day, Chu Feng got out of bed very early followed the peak experts of the prestigious villa and stepped onto the expedition towards the Thousand Monster Mountain. On this journey, not only were there the head of the prestigious villa, Chu Feng, and the thousand or so others who participated in the marriage gathering, there were also the representative characters from the powers everywhere. In order to express sincerity towards the marriage, they took the initiative to give their assistance to the prestigious villa to attack the monstrous beasts in the Thousand Monster Mountain together. Although on the surface, the representative characters of the powers were very righteous, respectable and they had very good intentions, 
Chu Feng and the others from the prestigious villa knew very clearly regarding the reason why they were willing to follow their actions. In reality, it was for the treasures in the Thousand Monster Mountain. After several days of hurrying, they finally arrived at the forbidden land of the Qin province, the Thousand Monster Mountain. However, at that instant, the vast mountain range was no longer peaceful. In many places, the flames of battle were already lit. The battle powers that the prestigious villa gathered beforehand already started their attacks on the Thousand Monster Mountain. And after seeing the flames on the Thousand Monster Mountain, the head of the prestigious villa and the manager elders of the prestigious villa, as well as the experts from powers everywhere immediately joined the battlefield and rushed into the boundless mountain range. Only two manager elders remained, who were in charge of Chu Feng and the other's event. Boom boom boom. Finally, when the white-headed eagles that Chu Feng and the others rode on landed outside of the Thousand Monster Mountain, it was a lot more peaceful when compared to back there. There were no fires burning, but one could still hear bursts of explosions from afar, and occasionally, even the furious roar of monstrous beasts. It caused the land they were standing on to tremble, and from that, it could be seen how intense the battle in the distance was. Everyone, my prestigious villa has already sent 100,000 elites to attack the monstrous beasts in the Thousand Monster Mountain. I believe that after our villa head joins that battlefield, we will have even bigger breakthroughs. The monstrous beasts in the Thousand Monster Mountain will certainly pay the price for their evil actions. However, although the monstrous beasts right now are already as muddled as a pot of kanji, there are several hundreds of thousands of monstrous beasts in this thousand monster mountain. So, even if all of you are going to enter a rather safer zone, do not be careless. Because, what you will be facing are cruel and heartless monstrous beasts. It is still possible that you will face life-threatening dangers. Like the words of the villa head, we advise you to kill the monstrous beasts after meeting them in the thousand monster mountain. Do not leave any alive, or else the ones who will suffer will be you. The prestigious villa elders first told them some things they should pay attention to, then quickly after, they gave everyone a map. That map was completely different than the one in Chu Feng's brain. It was a lot simpler when compared to it and the location of the underground palace was not even recorded. However, on the map, two areas were circled out. They were the areas that Chu Feng and the others needed to survive 10 days for, and the first step they needed to do was to first arrive in that area, and 10 days had to pass before they return. And that was the event that they needed to undergo. Because there were two safe areas, Chu Feng and the others also needed to be split into two groups. Unluckily, Chu Feng was in the same group as Jie Qingming, Tang Yixiu, and the others. They did not like Chu Feng. But luckily, Su Zhongyu and the others from the World Spirit Guild were also together with Chu Feng. As long as Su Zhongyu was there, Chu Feng felt better security. Although Chu Feng was going to split away from them sooner or later, at least before leaving the group, Chu Feng still needed Su Zhongyu to suppress Jie Qingming. Of course, other than Su Zhongyu and Jie Qingming, there was also a person who was unknown whether he was an enemy or friend. It was Jiang Wusheng. The genius from the Jiang dynasty was very strange. Although he did help Chu Feng that day on the summit of the mountain peak, on the road, when Chu Feng started a conversation with him, he was rather icy cold. From that, Chu Feng was unable to see through him. That boy. Marshal Gadazura. Chapter 359 Public Enemy of Male's Elder Is it possible to make an exception? I truly want to go over to their side. I am close friends with Bai Yunfei and the others, so if I go together with them, it will be more helpful in the event. At that instant, Tang Yixiu was tangling a manager elder of the prestigious villa. Because Zi Ling wasn't in their group, he who had special thoughts towards Zi Ling was intensely requesting to go to the group that Zi Ling was in. However, his request was heartlessly denied by the manager elder, because that was the rule. If everyone requested to be in the same group as Zi Ling, how was the event going to be held? Quickly look. Isn't that Lady Zi Ling? Wah, it is truly her. It is possible that she will join in our group. 
but just at that time, there was suddenly a person in the crowd who exclaimed in surprise. Focusing their gazes to look over, Zi Ling was truly walking towards where they were. Seeing that, the manager elder quickly went up to greet her, and with a quite humble attitude, he chucked and asked, Miss Zi Ling, what's the matter? Elder Su, I want a person from you. Zi Ling's voice was extremely beautiful. Especially when she spoke those words quietly, one would be drunk from listening, and when they saw her smile of absolute beauty on her face, the nerves of the people on scene were stretched and the hearts in their chests almost jumped out. This. Miss Zi Ling, I wonder who you want over. The manager elder heard the meaning behind Zi Ling's words, and he was clearly in a bit of a difficult situation. But he did not refuse, and he curiously asked. Him. Zi Ling pointed her finger towards Chu Feng and the others. At that instant, the hearts of all the males surrounding Chu Feng couldn't help beating quicker and their breathing turned rougher. Even the thoughts and emotions of Su Zhongyu next to Chu Feng and Jia Qingming behind Chu Feng also rippled. Zi Ling personally inviting someone to go over to her side meant that Zi Ling had feelings towards that person. Everyone hoped that they could get that honor. Crap. But compared to others, Chu Feng hiddenly cursed. Over on that side, he did not have a person, like Su Zhongyu, to look over him. If he was called over, it would really be too dangerous. After all, putting others aside, even Zi Ling had thoughts of killing Chu Feng. Lady Zi Ling, you're, you're talking about me? Just at that time, a male who stood in front of Chu Feng walked forward with disbelief and incomparable excitement. Not you. The one behind you. Zi Ling lightly frowned, then pointed at Chu Feng, who was behind that male. Seeing that, Chu Feng's face slightly changed, then he hurriedly turned his body and hid behind Bu Bo. Chu Feng, I'm talking about you. Where are you hiding? But who would have thought that the seemingly insignificant action of Chu Feng hiding forced Zi Ling to directly call out his name? What? Chu Feng? With that, the situation turned horrible. Almost everyone on scene, no matter male, female, old, or young, cast their gazes towards Chu Feng. With the eyes of females, there was strangeness, but also the rare jealousy. Some people even revealed bear-killing intent. And the thing that caused Chu Feng to be the most speechless was that as Chu Feng stood where he was with a face full of helplessness, Zi Ling had actually speedily walked into the crowd, extended her clean white hand and grabbed onto Chu Feng's cuff. As they were being stared by the eyes of the crowd, she forcefully dragged Chu Feng out. Zi Ling pulled Chu Feng and arrived in front of the manager elder. She then said one sentence, Elder, it's him. After speaking, without even turning her head back around, she directly tugged Chu Feng into another group. This. As they looked at Chu Feng's and Zi Ling's slowly distancing backs, Gu Bo and Su Zhongyu looked at each other with their four eyes. Even though their relationship was quite good with Chu Feng, a bit of jealousy couldn't avoid appearing in their eyes. On the other hand, Su Zhongyu was the first to relievedly smiled. He said, Brother Chu Feng does have quite good luck. And Gu Bo also closely nodded his head, on that topic, the two of them do match each other rather well. However, compared to Gu Bo and Su Zhongyu, the people who were unrelated to Chu Feng could only purely envy them. Especially people like Jia Qingming and Tang Yixiu. They were so angry that their eyes spit fire and the root of their teeth itched. The person they loved was pulling the person who they felt extreme displeasure, even hatred, towards, away in front of them. That feeling caused them, who were always surrounded by beauties, to taste the pain of jealousy. And as for the males in the other group, they were even more furious. Especially Bai Yunfei, Song Qingfeng, and Lu Xiaoyao. Their faces turned white from anger, and within the gazes that they looked towards Chu Feng with, cold glare glittered and they wished they could choke Chu Feng to death. Originally, they thought that their chance to chase after Zi Ling arrived as they were separated into the same group as Zi Ling. But what was the current situation? Was it possible that in Zi Ling's heart, she already chose the brat that came from the Azure province? 
but no matter how much more displeased they were in their hearts, right now, they could only endure because at that very instant, after all, there were still manager elders from the prestigious villa. After Zi Ling brought Chu Feng and approached her team, a figure was also speedily walking over. It was Lu Zizuan. Although Lu Zizuan wasn't a participator in the marriage gathering, as the number one disciple of the prestigious villa, he also joined the event, and like them, after seeing Zi Ling's actions, he was similarly displeased. At that instant, he stopped in front of Chu Feng and Zi Ling, and while smiling, he said to Zi Ling, Junior Zi Ling, the divide of these two teams were prearranged by the elders. By doing this, it doesn't seem to be appropriate, right? Ho! As she faced Lu Zizuan's obstruction, Zi Ling sweetly smiled, then quickly after, she said, The elder has already approved of it, so there is no need to trouble yourself. Following that, Zi Ling also did not care about Li Zizuan, and directly, she pulled Chu Feng and walked into the crowd. Seeing that, a touch of cold glare flashed by Lu Zizuan's eyes. However, his eyes were not facing Zi Ling. They were facing Chu Feng. I'm finished, I'm finished. I've been tricked to death by this girl. As a world spiritist and at that moment, Chu Feng was naturally able to feel the gazes that revealed killing intent condensing onto his body. He felt that this time, he was tricked by Zi Ling. He was forced into a predicament and became the public enemy of all males. Yet he could not have done anything. As he faced the little beautiful girl, he couldn't have refused, right? Besides, even the manager elder agreed, so how could he not? But with a thought, Chu Feng felt that since it was already like this, why not just take the chance and touch Zi Ling a bit? So, he waved the sleeve of his robe and got rid of Zi Ling's hand from his cuff, then quickly afterwards, he extended his hand and grabbed. He had actually grasped Zi Ling's white hand into his own hand. You. Feeling that her own little hand was being tightly grasped, the face of Zi Ling changed and she quickly retracted her hand, ferociously glared at Chu Feng, then said at a low voice, Don't think that I have any thoughts towards you. I'm just afraid that you won't be able to control your own mouth when you are together with others. 6304854BFB98C9622D6C69 Chapter 359 Public Enemy of Males Elder, is it possible to make an exception? I truly want to go over to their side. I am close friends with Bai Yunfei and the others, so if I go together with them, it will be more helpful in the event. At that instant, Tang Yixiao was tangling a manager elder of the prestigious villa. Because Zi Ling wasn't in their group, he who had special thoughts towards Zi Ling was intensely requesting to go to the group that Zi Ling was in. However, his request was heartlessly denied by the manager elder, because that was the rule. If everyone requested to be in the same group as Zi Ling, how was the event going to be held? Quickly look. Isn't that Lady Zi Ling? Wah, wow, it is truly her. It is possible that she will join in our group. But just at that time, there was suddenly a person in the crowd who exclaimed in surprise. Focusing their gazes to look over, Zi Ling was truly walking towards where they were. Seeing that, the manager elder quickly went up to greet her. And with a quite humble attitude, he chucked and asked, Miss Zi Ling, what's the matter? Elder Su, I want a person from you. Zi Ling's voice was extremely beautiful. Especially when she spoke those words quietly, one would be drunk from listening, and when they saw her smile of absolute beauty on her face, the nerves of the people on scene were stretched and the hearts in their chests almost jumped out. This. Miss Zi Ling, I wonder who you want over. The manager elder heard the meaning behind Zi Ling's words, and he was clearly in a bit of a difficult situation. But he did not refuse, and he curiously asked. Him. Zi Ling pointed her finger towards Chu Feng and the others. At that instant, the hearts of all the males surrounding Chu Feng couldn't help beating quicker and their breathing turned rougher. Even the thoughts and emotions of Su Zhongyu next to Chu Feng and Jia Qingming behind Chu Feng also rippled. Zi Ling personally inviting someone to go over to her side meant that Zi Ling had feelings towards that person. Everyone hoped that they could get that honor. Crap. 
but compared to others, Chu Feng hiddenly cursed. Over on that side, he did not have a person, like Su Zhongyu, to look over him. If he was called over, it would really be too dangerous. After all, putting others aside, even Zi Ling had thoughts of killing Chu Feng. Lady Zi Ling, you're, you're talking about me? Just at that time, a male who stood in front of Chu Feng walked forward with disbelief and incomparable excitement. Not you. The one behind you. Zi Ling lightly frowned, then pointed at Chu Feng, who was behind that male. Seeing that, Chu Feng's face slightly changed. Then he hurriedly turned his body and hid behind Gu Bo. Chu Feng, I'm talking about you. Where are you hiding? But who would have thought that the seemingly insignificant action of Chu Feng hiding forced Zi Ling to directly call out his name? What? Chu Feng? With that, the situation turned horrible. Almost everyone on scene, no matter male, female, old, or young, cast their gazes towards Chu Feng. With the eyes of females, there was strangeness, but also the rare jealousy. Some people even revealed their killing intent. And the thing that caused Chu Feng to be the most speechless was that as Chu Feng stood where he was with a face full of helplessness, Zi Ling had actually speedily walked into the crowd, extended her clean white hand, and grabbed onto Chu Feng's cuff. As they were being stared by the eyes of the crowd, she forcefully dragged Chu Feng out. Zi Ling pulled Chu Feng and arrived in front of the manager elder. She then said one sentence, Elder, it's him. After speaking, without even turning her head back around, she directly tugged Chu Feng into another group. This. As they looked at Chu Feng's and Zi Ling's slowly distancing backs, Gu Bo and Su Zhongyu looked at each other with their four eyes. Even though their relationship was quite good with Chu Feng, a bit of jealousy couldn't avoid appearing in their eyes. On the other hand, Su Zhongyu was the first to relievedly smiled. He said, Brother Chu Feng does have quite good luck. And Gu Bo also closely nodded his head, on that topic, the two of them do match each other rather well. However, compared to Gu Bo and Su Zhongyu, the people who were unrelated to Chu Feng could only purely envy them. Especially, people like Jie Qingming and Tang Yixiu. They were so angry that their eyes spit fire and the root of their teeth itched. The person they loved was pulling the person who they felt extreme displeasure, even hatred, towards, away in front of them. That feeling caused them, who were always surrounded by beauties, to taste the pain of jealousy. And as for the males in the other group, they were even more furious. Especially Bai Yunfei, Song Qingfeng, and Lu Xiaoyao. Their faces turned white from anger, and within the gazes that they looked towards Chu Feng with, cold glare glittered and they wished they could choke Chu Feng to death. Originally, they thought that their chance to chase after Zi Ling arrived as they were separated into the same group as Zi Ling. But what was the current situation? Was it possible that in Zi Ling's heart, she already chose the brat that came from the Azure province? But no matter how much more displeased they were in their hearts, right now, they could only endure, because at that very instant, after all, there were still manager elders from the prestigious villa. After Zi Ling brought Chu Feng and approached her team, a figure was also speedily walking over. It was Lu Zizuan. Although Lu Zizuan wasn't a participator in the marriage gathering, as the number one disciple of the prestigious villa, he also joined the event, and like them, after seeing Zi Ling's actions, he was similarly displeased. At that instant, he stopped in front of Chu Feng and Zi Ling, and while smiling, he said to Zi Ling, Junior Zi Ling, the divide of these two teams were prearranged by the elders. By doing this, it doesn't seem to be appropriate, right? Ho! As she faced Lu Zizuan's obstruction, Zi Ling sweetly smiled, then quickly after, she said, the elder has already approved of it, so there is no need to trouble yourself. Following that, Zi Ling also did not care about Li Zizuan, and directly, she pulled Chu Feng and walked into the crowd. Seeing that, a touch of cold glare flashed by Lu Zizuan's eyes. However, his eyes were not facing Zi Ling. They were facing Chu Feng. I'm finished, I'm finished. I've been tricked to death by this girl. 
As a world spiritist and at that moment, Chu Feng was naturally able to feel the gazes that revealed killing intent condensing onto his body. He felt that this time, he was tricked by Zi Ling. He was forced into a predicament and became the public enemy of all males. Yet he could not have done anything. As he faced the little beautiful girl, he couldn't have refused, right? Besides, even the manager elder agreed, so how could he not? But with a thought, Chu Feng felt that since it was already like this, why not just take the chance and touch Zi Ling a bit? So, he waved the sleeve of his robe and got rid of Zi Ling's hand from his cuff, then quickly afterwards, he extended his hand and grabbed. He had actually grasped Zi Ling's white hand into his own hand. You. Feeling that her own little hand was being tightly grasped, the face of Zi Ling changed and she quickly retracted her hand, ferociously glared at Chu Feng, then said at a low voice, Don't think that I have any thoughts towards you. I'm just afraid that you won't be able to control your own mouth when you are together with others. Marshal God Azura. Chapter 360 Unfathomable After the little interlude of Zi Ling forcibly pulling Chu Feng into her group, the event finally officially started. The two groups split up and went forward. As they were led by the two manager elders, they headed towards the so-called safe area. In the group Chu Feng was in, there were almost 500 males, but only 50 females. Other than the manager elder who was responsible for leading the road and Lu Zizuan, all of the other males were people who were participating in the marriage gathering. So, because of that, there were many wolves, but little meat. In fact, there were many, many wolves, and very little meat. In a situation like that, the young geniuses from all directions started to give it their all to gain the favors of the beauty geniuses. Especially Zi Ling. There were countless males who wanted to approach, but those who did get close to her were all coldly yelled at to scram by Zi Ling. Even those who received the prestigious invitation letter, Song Qingfeng, Bai Yunfei, and Lu Xiaoyao, were no exception. When they faced that scene, even the manager elders could only helplessly shake their heads and did not dare to interfere. Although by rejecting people a thousand miles away, Zi Ling went against the idea of the marriage gathering, as long as they thought of the lady's special status and her monster-like strong grandfather, who even the head of the villa feared that manager elder could only watch and do nothing. But there were exceptions for all things. Chu Feng was such an exception. Although Zi Ling stayed a thousand miles away from other males, she pulled Chu Feng next to her and even if Chu Feng wanted to leave, he could not. The thing that was the most intolerable was after a while of escaping without results, Chu Feng actually started to become unrefined and not only did he start to work his ways in becoming friends with Zi Ling, he even occasionally took some small advantages from Zi Ling. That truly caused other to be unable to continue looking. In fact, Song Qingfeng, Bai Yunfei, and Lu Xiaoyao, the three people who recognized themselves as the pride of the heavens all walked to the front of Chu Feng, stopped the path in which Chu Feng and Zi Ling was walking on, pointed at Chu Feng, and fiercely reminded, Boy, behave yourself. How can Lady Zi Ling be touched by you? At that instant, the face of Chu Feng, who was currently speaking his heart out to Zi Ling, instantly sank. He originally wanted to speak in curse, but before he even opened his mouth, Zi Ling, who was to his side, actually spoke instead. None of you need to interrupt the matters between me and Chu Feng. If you block my path again, don't blame me for being impolite. Zi Ling's voice was pleasant, yet had plenty of domineeringness, as if she truly did not put the three people in her eyes. We, we. At that instant, Song Qingfeng and the two others were first taken aback, then following that, their faces instantly turned ashen and they didn't know what to do. They were originally thinking to stick out for Zi Ling, but who would have thought that a burst of lashing was exchanged back? However, they truly did not have any excuses, so at the end, as the crowd was watching, they could only slip away gloomily. They really lost all face, yet they could not do anything about it. Heh. Are you still saying that you don't like me? If you don't like me, why did you help me? Chu Feng chuckled, and as he spoke, he extended his hand of evil towards Zi Ling's well-developed little waist and got closer. 
Although he did not know why Zi Ling kept him by her side, whether it was because she only wanted Chu Feng to be the target of maliciousness or if she truly wanted to have Chu Feng within her line of sight, or other thoughts, Chu Feng took this chance and started scoundrel tactics against Zi Ling. It was to harass her and do all sorts of shameless things. What Chu Feng wanted to do was to cause Zi Ling to be angry so she wouldn't always have her eye on him. Only then could Chu Feng have a chance to escape that group. Because looking at it currently, the group was no longer safe. Chu Feng truly did not know what kind of dangerous situation he would sink into after the manager elder left. Not to mention others, even the unfathomable Zi Ling was a huge threat, so he had to quickly leave. And as she felt the hand of evil that Chu Feng extended over, Zi Ling's little face changed and she quickly evaded it. She also fiercely glared at Chu Feng and said, You better not imagine that your affection is being returned. I just don't like anyone bothering my business and I was not helping you. Explain, continue explaining. It's best to explain so that everyone will believe it. I won't believe it anyway. In my heart, I know clearly that without knowing when, you have already deeply fallen for me and you have no way of pulling yourself away, so by making up idiotic reasons, you want me next to you. Chu Feng drew the corners of his mouth back and chuckled. His eyes were even so openly, shamelessly, staring at Zi Ling's twin peaks that would cause one to be proud. His heart was moved from looking, and he couldn't even help sticking out his tongue and he licked his lips. You. I have never seen such a shameless person like you before. If it wasn't for. Humph. Zi Ling's little face reddened from anger because of Chu Feng and traces of fury sprung out from her eyes. There were even a touch of killing intent, but that killing intent only flashed past before being suppressed by her. At the end, she coldly snorted and walked forward with quick steps. Hee hee, I would quite like to see how long you can take me. Chu Feng smiled as he got his way and chased after her. Oi, girl, don't be angry. If not, I'll tell a joke to you to cheer you up? Not listening. If not, then you tell me one to cheer me up. Shut up. People felt that Chu Feng was aiming for something that he could never get, yet others could not do anything about it as she was unfathomable. Although she expressed impatience towards Chu Feng, she didn't allow Chu Feng to leave her side. It gave off a feeling of looking for suffering for herself. As they saw Zi Ling, who would occasionally rebuke Chu Feng, many people truly wanted to go up and kick Chu Feng from Zi Ling's side, but as long as they thought of how Song Qing Feng, Bai Yunfei, and Lu Xiaoyao ended up as, ultimately, they dispelled that thought. Damn it. What's so good about that brat from the Azure province to be able to get the heart of Lady Zi Ling? Song Qing Feng grinded his teeth in anger. He who had done it innumerable times never would have thought that he would lose to a bumpkinly brat. Who knows what that Zi Ling is thinking? Perhaps they are like a turtle's eyes and green beans, and they match like that. Bai Yunfei curled his lips and similarly, his mouth was full of sourness. Tian, a bit confusing to translate, but the expression means that the two are similar, though in a negative manner. From what I see, Lady Zi Ling doesn't really like Chu Feng and they should have already known each other from an earlier date. Perhaps there is some secret that others cannot know between them. Lu Xiaoyao guessed. If you don't understand, don't speak random things. How could Zi Ling fall for a person like him? But just at that time an extremely icy cold aura suddenly came from behind the three people. Turning their heads to look, it was Lu Zizuan. 630485BFB98C9622D6C69 Chapter 360 Unfathomable After the little interlude of Zi Ling forcibly pulling Chu Feng into her group, the event finally officially started. The two groups split up and went forward. As they were led by the two manager elders, they headed towards the so-called safe area. In the group Chu Feng was in, there were almost 500 males, but only 50 females. Other than the manager elder who was responsible for leading the road and Lu Zizuan, all of the other males were people who were participating in the marriage gathering. So, because of that, there were many wolves, but little meat. 
In fact, there were many, many wolves, and very little meat. In a situation like that, the young geniuses from all directions started to give it their all to gain the favors of the beauty geniuses. Especially Zi Ling. There were countless males who wanted to approach, but those who did get close to her were all coldly yelled at to scram by Zi Ling. Even those who received the prestigious invitation letter, Song Qingfeng, Bai Yunfei, and Lu Xiaoyao, were no exception. When they faced that scene, even the manager elders could only helplessly shake their heads and did not dare to interfere. Although by rejecting people a thousand miles away, Zi Ling went against the idea of the marriage gathering, as long as they thought of the lady's special status and her monster-like strong grandfather, who even the head of the villa feared that manager elder could only watch and do nothing. But there were exceptions for all things. Chu Feng was such an exception. Although Zi Ling stayed a thousand miles away from other males, she pulled Chu Feng next to her and even if Chu Feng wanted to leave, he could not. The thing that was the most intolerable was after a while of escaping without results, Chu Feng actually started to become unrefined and not only did he start to work his ways in becoming friends with Zi Ling, he even occasionally took some small advantages from Zi Ling. That truly caused other to be unable to continue looking. In fact, Song Qingfeng, Bai Yunfei, and Lu Xiaoyao, the three people who recognized themselves as the pride of the heavens all walked to the front of Chu Feng, stopped the path in which Chu Feng and Zi Ling was walking on, pointed at Chu Feng, and fiercely reminded, Boy, behave yourself. How can Lady Zi Ling be touched by you? At that instant, the face of Chu Feng, who was currently speaking his heart out to Zi Ling, instantly sank. He originally wanted to speak in curse, but before he even opened his mouth, Zi Ling, who was to his side, actually spoke instead. None of you need to interrupt the matters between me and Chu Feng. If you block my path again, don't blame me for being impolite. Zi Ling's voice was pleasant, yet had plenty of domineeringness, as if she truly did not put the three people in her eyes. We, we, at that instant, San Qingfeng and the two others were first taken aback, then following that, their faces instantly turned ashen and they didn't know what to do. They were originally thinking to stick out for Zi Ling, but who would have thought that a burst of lashing was exchanged back? However, they truly did not have any excuses, so at the end, as the crowd was watching, they could only slip away gloomily. They really lost all face, yet they could not do anything about it. Heh. Are you still saying that you don't like me? If you don't like me, why did you help me? Chu Feng chuckled, and as he spoke, he extended his hand of evil towards Zi Ling's well-developed little waist and got closer. Although he did not know why Zi Ling kept him by her side, whether it was because she only wanted Chu Feng to be the target of maliciousness or if she truly wanted to have Chu Feng within her line of sight, or other thoughts, Chu Feng took this chance and started scoundrel tactics against Zi Ling. It was to harass her and do all sorts of shameless things. What Chu Feng wanted to do was to cause Zi Ling to be angry so she wouldn't always have her eye on him. Only then could Chu Feng have a chance to escape that group. Because looking at it currently, the group was no longer safe. Chu Feng truly did not know what kind of dangerous situation he would sink into after the manager elder left. Not to mention others, even the unfathomable Zi Ling was a huge threat, so he had to quickly leave. And as she felt the hand of evil that Chu Feng extended over, Zi Ling's little face changed and she quickly evaded it. She also fiercely glared at Chu Feng and said, You better not imagine that your affection is being returned. I just don't like anyone bothering my business and I was not helping you. Explain, continue explaining. It's best to explain so that everyone will believe it. I won't believe it anyway. In my heart, I know clearly that without knowing when, you have already deeply fallen for me and you have no way of pulling yourself away, so by making up idiotic reasons, you want me next to you. Chu Feng drew the corners of his mouth back and chuckled. His eyes were even so openly, shamelessly, staring at Zi Ling's twin peaks that would cause one to be proud. His heart was moved from looking, and he couldn't even help sticking out his tongue and he licked his lips. You. I have never seen such a shameless person like you before. 
if it wasn't for. Humph. Zilin's little face reddened from anger because of Chu Feng and traces of fury sprung out from her eyes. There were even a touch of killing intent, but that killing intent only flashed past before being suppressed by her. At the end, she coldly snorted and walked forward with quick steps. Hee hee, I would quite like to see how long you can take me. Chu Feng smiled as he got his way and chased after her. Oi, girl, don't be angry. If not, I'll tell a joke to you to cheer you up? Not listening. If not, then you tell me one to cheer me up. Shut up. People felt that Chu Feng was aiming for something that he could never get, yet others could not do anything about it as she was unfathomable. Although she expressed impatience towards Chu Feng, she didn't allow Chu Feng to leave her side. It gave off a feeling of looking for suffering for herself. As they saw Zi Ling, who would occasionally rebuke Chu Feng, many people truly wanted to go up and kick Chu Feng from Zi Ling's side, but as long as they thought of how Song Qing Feng, Bai Yunfei, and Lu Xiaoyao ended up as, ultimately, they dispelled that thought. Damn it. What's so good about that brat from the Azure province, to be able to get the heart of Lady Zi Ling? Song Qing Feng grinded his teeth in anger. He who had done it innumerable times never would have thought that he would lose to a bumpkinly brat. Who knows what that Zi Ling is thinking? Perhaps they are like a turtle's eyes and green beans, and they match like that. Bai Yunfei curled his lips and similarly, his mouth was full of sourness. Tian, a bit confusing to translate, but the expression means that the two are similar, though in a negative manner. From what I see, Lady Zi Ling doesn't really like Chu Feng and they should have already known each other from an earlier date. Perhaps there is some secret that others cannot know between them. Lu Xiaoyao guessed. If you don't understand, don't speak random things. How could Zi Ling fall for a person like him? But just at that time an extremely icy cold aura suddenly came from behind the three people. Turning their heads to look, it was Lu Zizuan 